Welcome back to NurseNet Numeracy, the free-to-use online maths tutorial course designed for nurses. In the previous three lessons, we've built up our understanding on how to calculate how much of a liquid solution we should give to a patient based on the stock dose. We've even looked at converting metrics, i.e. grams to milligrams, milligrams to micrograms, to ensure our calculations are correct. In this lesson, we'll look at how to calculate how much of the solution to give to a patient if the drug strength is given as a ratio. If you're not confident with understanding ratios, go back to the Foundation of Maths course on NurseNet Numeracy and redo the ratios lesson and the accompanying test. Okay, let's look at a typical ratio of 1 to 10. This means that for every 1 gram of drug, there are 10 milliliters of solution that the drug is dissolved in. Another example would be 1 to 100 where for every one gram of drug, there is 100 milliliters of solution the drug is dissolved in. If we're given a prescription with a ratio, we can think back to our drug calculation formula, where we have prescribed dose, divided by stock dose, multiplied by the solution the drug is dissolved in. In this case, we can substitute the stock dose with a dose concentrate. So let's do an example. A patient is prescribed 4 grams of a drug that is available in a solution dissolved in a 1 to 10 ratio. What is the volume of the solution the patient should be given? Well, in the first instance, let's replace the stock dose part of our formula with dose concentrate, which in this instance is the 1 gram in our 1 to 10 ratio. Therefore, prescribed dose is 4 grams, divided by dose concentrate of 1 gram, multiplied by the volume that the concentrate is dissolved in, which in this case is 10 milliliters. So 4 divided by 1 equals 4. 4 multiplied by 10 milliliters equals 40 milliliters. Therefore, our answer to the question is 40 milliliters of solution. Let's do another example, but we'll increase the complexity. A patient is prescribed 250 milligrams of a drug that is available in a solution dissolved in a 1 to 100 ratio. How much of the solution should the patient be given? Well, let's interpret what the question is stating. Firstly, the patient's prescribed dose is 250 milligrams. Well, that's easy enough. But the next part we need to look at is that the ratio of 1 to 100 means that for every gram of the drug, there is 100 milliliters that the drug is dissolved in. We can now see that we've got two different units. We've got milligrams and grams. So we need to convert these into the same metrics so that we can do our drugs calculation. Remember, to do this, we need to multiply one gram by a factor of 1,000 to convert it into milligrams. So let's do that. So one multiplied by 1,000 gives us 1,000 milligrams. Now we can crunch the numbers into our drugs calculation formula. So therefore, prescribed dose of 250 milligrams divided by the dose concentrate, which in this case is 1000 milligrams, this gives us 0 0.25. 0 0.25 multiplied by the volume of the solution the drug is dissolved in, 100 milliliters, gives us an answer of 25 milliliters. Okay, so now it's your turn. A patient is prescribed 450 milligrams of a drug that is available in a solution dissolved in a 1 to 1000 ratio. How much of the solution should the patient be given? You can pause the video and press play when you're ready to reveal the answer. OK, let's break this question down and identify the key bits of information we've been given. A patient is prescribed 450 milligrams. Well, that bit's easy enough. The drug is available in a solution with a ratio of 1 to 1,000. Well, that means for every 1 gram of drug, there are 1,000 milliliters of solution that it's dissolved in. We can now see that we have to convert the 1 gram into milligram to make our drug's calculation work. So let's convert the 1 gram, or in other words, the dose concentrate. 1 multiplied by 1,000 gives us 100 milligrams. Now we can punch the numbers into our drugs calculation. 450 milligrams of prescribed dose 
divided by 1000 milligrams of dose concentrate equals 0 0.45. 0 0.45 multiplied by the volume of the solution the drug is dissolved in, in this case 1000, gives us 45 milliliters. Okay, if you're feeling confident, now do the drugs calculation with ratio tests within this course. Remember, you can find lots more help at www.sysco.uk or if you're looking